All right, physical science students, we are going to get into our next unit, which is energy. And we're going to talk about all the different kinds and forms that energy can take because it's a lot. So let's get started. All right, so we're going to look at the relationship between energy and work. So we just got out of our work unit, and now we're going to get into our energy unit, and we're going to see how those things relate. We're going to also look at the different types of energy and how energy uh, can change forms. All right, so a few things we got to know before we really get started, some kind of like basic rules we got to follow. So the world is full of energy. Everything that you do, and you'll learn about this more um, on a biological scale when you take biology and how your cells need energy and that whole process. It's really cool. But everything you do, everything everything else does requires some kind of energy. And without it, living things just like they don't exist. All right, so we're going to look at some pictures. This is a dam. How does this picture relate to energy? What about this picture? Or this one? Or even this picture? So all those pictures have to deal with energy. Some may be more obvious than others to you at this point, but hopefully by the end, you'll see how they all relate. So we know that work requires a force and a distance, right? So the formula for work, the formula for work is force times distance, okay? And energy is the ability to do work or the ability to cause a change. So whenever work is done, energy is transformed or we're gonna use the word transferred or moved. So when you stretch back a slingshot, you're doing the work, right? You're pulling back on the rubber band. So you are transferring energy from your body, your ability to pull that uh, elastic band back to the elastic band, which is why it flies forward. All right. uh, energy and work. So remember work is measured in joules. Energy is also going to be measured in joules because energy is measured for the ability to do work. So that's why we're using that. Energy and work are expressed in the same unit, so joules. So if you think of energy and work, you're going to think of joules. Work requires an object to change its motion, right? So it's force and distance. However, energy can be present in an object if, it's, if nothing's happening at all. So that's kind of the big difference between work and energy. All right, so here is all the different types of energy, and here are all the different types of energy we're gonna go through throughout this entire unit. So it is chunky, but it's really cool, and it's one of my favorite units to go over. So we have mechanical energy. These are the ones you might have heard of before, the kinetic and potential. Of course, we have heat energy, chemical energy, electromagnetic energy, nuclear energy, light energy, sound energy, electrical energy, and of course, we can never forget magnets. So these are all the different types. Okay. So mechanical energy is the sum or um, the total of your kinetic and potential energy in an object. So in other words, it's an energy, it's, it is energy in an object due to its motion and its position or both. So kinetic energy, once again, this might be one that you have heard of before, or maybe one that you remember from middle school, but kinetic energy is uh, moving. So the term kinetic means to move. Kinesthesis means to study the body movements. So that's where that word comes from. So a hammer uh, pushing in a nail, the hammer is causing the nail to move and therefore there's kinetic energy. Potential, uh, the word potential kind of means like to be stored or to save. So this is where we get our stored energy due to its position. And we'll go over more and more and more about that as we go through. Um, so we have a lot of potential energy right before we let this wrecking ball go. And right before it's about to hit the building, all that potential energy transfers or gets transformed into kinetic energy. And then when we hit the building, we actually get some work done. All right, and there's a couple different types of potential energy. 
And it really just depends on like what's going on in the situation. So gravitational potential energy is energy like when you hold something above the earth's surface. I always like to think about it is if I have a bowling ball, um, if I drop it and it hits my foot, is it going to be more painful if it's dropped above my head? Or is it going to be more painful if it's dropped like right above my ankle? So of course, the higher the bowling ball is dropped, the more pain you're going to feel. And that's because there's more energy. Elastic potential energy. Say I all go back to a painful example. Someone has a slingshot. The further they pull that back and let it go, the stronger that energy is going to be. Now we have different kinds of energy, which you probably notice in life, but you just don't ever really think about it. Uh, so heat and thermal energy, this is a result in the motion of our molecules. So anything that produces heat um, has heat energy, pretty straightforward. So this could be from a heater like this guy, or even just from rubbing your hands together. So when you rub your hands together, you get that friction and friction is gonna cause heat. All right, and we have chemical energy. So chemical energy uh, require the bonds of atoms together. So when we break these bonds, things are released. So this happens when the car burns gasoline. So gasoline is this long molecule of just like a bunch of carbons, a bunch of hydrogens. And you'll learn more about that next year. And when um, it kind of, those bonds kind of get um, disturbed and interrupted, it releases energy. Digestion is also a way that this works down. So your stomach acid is breaking down your food. All right. Electromagnetic energy. This one I think is pretty nifty because I don't think a lot of people, especially at our level or your guys' level, um, kind of really think about this. But we have energy that comes from space. So the sun rays um, producing light. X-rays, if you ever got an X-ray done. UV rays, if you ever got a sunburn all that stuff. So the asphalt, so like the ground in the parking lot on a hot summer day is hotter when the light shines. And that's because all this energy from space is causing that asphalt to heat up. Then we have nuclear energy. We won't get too, too much into this. This is more of a um, chemistry, physics type of thing, but it is pretty cool. So this is energy derived from forces that hold atoms together. We call this fusion. And fusion or nuclear energy is what gives the sun its energy. So that's why the sun has a lot of energy and it's big and it's hot. When these nuclear bonds break down, we have fission and atoms decay this nuclear energy. And we get things like the atomic bomb from nuclear energy. So it's quite powerful. Uh, we have electrical energy. This one's very straightforward. Um, electricity. So this comes from moving electrons. We will do some labs with this and I'm super stoked for this because I love learning about electrical energy. And um, electrical energy could be outlets, TVs, your phones, your phone charger, your Chromebook charger, lights, lightning, anything like that. We have sound, which I also think is really cool because it just has to do with the vibration of the molecules in the air or I should say the air molecules. So sound waves, so we have music or noise. A light energy, so any, like a light bulb, um, sparklers, lightning, fireworks, those types of things. And we're almost done, I think this might be one of our last, one of our last slides. And then we have magnetism. This is the attraction or repulsion of an object. We've all seen magnets. We all know what they kind of do. We're going to go a little bit more into depth about that, but we do have magnetic energy. And I believe the last slide is just my credits. So there's a lot of information and um, we're going to go through this entire section and go over each type of energy um, as we go through the unit. So if you're looking at it and you're a little intimidated, don't be. We're going to take it step by step, and I'll see you guys in class.